the Irish Embassy in London uh, as part of an international day of action of protest in solidarity with Jobstown protesters. I'm here with Neil, who's a convener of the uh, Solidarity Campaign in England and Wales. Neil, do you want to say a bit about what's going on today? Sure. The, on the 24th of April, uh, a trial which has been described as the biggest political trial in a generation in Ireland uh, is going to take place. Uh, it's regarding a protest that took place where uh, uh, a number of, of people in Jobstown took part in a sit-down protest in front of the uh, car of the Deputy Prime Minister, Cornish, as it's known, in Ireland. Uh, now, as a result uh, of, of that protest, 18 adults faced trial on the charge of false imprisonment. Now, at, at that protest, uh, you know, there was lo lots of police present. I think it only it took place about two hours for the the Thornster was, was held up. Uh, but nevertheless, if those adults are convicted, and one minor has already been convicted, a 17-year-old, of false imprisonment, but if those adults are convicted of false imprisonment, they face a potential maximum sentence of life imprisonment. So, you know, in order to protest this injustice, which we believe is a massive threat to the right to protest in Ireland, there's been an international solidarity campaign. Today's a you know, a day of action. There's been already been protests in Kuala Lumpur, in Hong Kong, in Melbourne. Uh, this is the the London uh, leg of it, uh, and we're here to hand in uh, a number of uh, letters of, of, of support. What do you want? I think the explanation for it uh, is that you have you've had a mass movement against the water charges, uh, a mass movement of civil disobedience, which saw 73% of people refuse to pay the water charges, which saw massive protests from below which saw working class communities um, taking ownership of their areas and saying, okay, you're, you're not imposing water meters on us. Uh, and a mass movement of civil disobedience that's been successful. Um, water charges are on their way out. They're going to be uh, defeated because of that. And that's very, very dangerous and very scary from the point of view of the establishment, I think. Um, the idea that protests can work, that it can bring about fundamental change, that working class people, working class communities that historically... Um, would be expected to vote in low numbers, vote for the Labour Party, rising up as epitomised by Jobstown, which is a, a working class community, epitomised by the protest, a spontaneous protest of over 500 uh, people, um, represents quite a fundamental threat to them. And I think it's partly about revenge for the water charges, but also it's about sending a message to people. You have you know, the extreme centre in politics in Ireland is in a state of collapse. Um, huge movements taking place, there's a big rise of the left, and they're worried about what's taking place and they're trying to send a message to people, okay, you might have beaten us on the water charges, but don't think you can do it in terms of abortion rights, in terms of increased pay, in terms of public services. Okay. You know, this is about the right to protest um, and, and the right to struggle as well, because in Britain, for instance, the Tories have brought in the Trade Union Act, uh, which again is more anti-trade union legislation, it means uh, more um, you know, laws against picketing, that type of stuff. It wouldn't take the greatest deal of imagination to think that you know we can have workers in the next few months attacked under similar legislation. So it's important that we show solidarity. Um, and of course, some trade union leaders have done that, and I think we're very grateful for the support of Ben McCluskey, the Knight General Secretary, Janice Godridge, Chris Boff, John McAnally from PCS, Amy Murphy from Yesdor, executive in a personal capacity. Jokestown! Jokestown! Jokestown!